project I have decided to do is a balloon-powered water bottle car. My scientific question is, does the amount of air in a balloon affect how far a water bottle car will, can travel? Here are my variables. Independent variable. Amount of air in the balloon. Dependent variable. How far the water bottle car will travel. Control variables. Balloon size, water bottle car, and envi an environment, such as for a road. Here is my hypothesis. It's if a balloon is filled to capacity with air, then a water bottle car will travel further because more air will push the car forward. Here is the research that I found. This experiment has been done before by many people. One person I researched, researched was a man named Ben Finio. According to the data, the more a balloon is inflated, the more potential energy it stores, which is which in turn converts into kinetic energy, which means the car will go further. Potential energy is the energy stored in an object due to its position relative some zero position. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion, and energy in motion is using kinetic energy. So there is less air in a balloon, the less farther. However, they will both go at different speeds, and they will both go different lengths. It is like Newton's first law. An object at rest will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion in a straight line unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. So the balloon that is filled the most has more potential energy. So it will be converted into kinetic energy, and it will be, it will be more than the others. You can also refer to Newton's first law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that the amount of air in a balloon will be exert will, will be exert the same amount of force on the car. And here are my results. So I tested out the balloon on tile with different size balloons. They all went the same speed but different lengths. The balloon with the least amount of air in it from start to end went 3.8 feet far, so 3 feet and 8 inches. The balloon with the normal or medium amount of air went 4 feet farther, so 7 feet and 8 inches far. And the last balloon with the most air went 4.1 feet farther, so 11.9 feet far. So I was kind of correct about my p predictions that the balloon with the most air in it would make the car go faster. Um, I was half correct and half incorrect because in my hypothesis I stated that I thought the balloon car would go further. I would go further and at different, like, it would go different lengths and different speeds, which was untrue. They both, they all three went different lengths, but they all went the same speed. So that is the research and project and results that I came up with. Thank you.